Hi there, this is Chevy from 3D Classworks once again. In this tutorial, we will be creating an assembly model. In the previous two tutorials, you have modeled the wheel and the tire. So in this tutorial, we will be bringing these two parts together into an assembly. What you see on the screen is an assembly document. So if you take a look at the model itself, you'll notice that you have the wheel and you've got the tires. These different parts are actually listed in your feature manager design tree. So there you go. We have the wheel and we have the two tires. So how do you tell the difference between the assembly document and the part document? Number one, if you take a look at the very top icon, the icon is no longer a part icon, it's an assembly icon. The command manager, you no longer have features, okay, instead you have assembly. And the set of tools available to you is a little bit different from what you see in the part document. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can start off by creating an assembly document. So we click on new. Instead of selecting the part document, let us double click on assembly. The very first thing that the assembly document asks you for is a part. So we just go to browse and browse for the part that you have created earlier. So we have created um, the wheel. So let's insert the wheel. So I click on wheel, hit open. Okay. Go ahead and click on the OK sign icon that you see um, under the Begin Assembly tab. Okay. By doing that, we have positioned this wheel part at the origin of the assembly. So let me just hide these planes. Okay. Now, let's insert the tires. So to insert components into an assembly environment, all we need to do is, under the Assembly tab, click on Insert Components. And we browse for the parts that we want to bring into this assembly environment. So I click on Browse, select Tire, and hit Open. Okay, so maybe I'm the position the part here. There you go. We have inserted the tire into this assembly. And as I insert a part, you'll notice that this part is reflected in the Feature Manager design tree. Okay. Now, if you zoom in to the Feature Manager, you will notice that next to Wheel, there's an alphabet F. This means that the wheel itself is fixed in free space. But for the tire, you can move the tire around in free space. That's why there is a minus sign next to it. So, how do we actually constrain this model? So, to constrain the model, we use this command called the mate command. So the mate command actually creates, it is something like uh, adding relations in, in a sketch mode. The only difference is you're adding relationships between parts in the assembly environment. Okay, so let's take a look how this command works. So we click on the mate command. Okay, and if, you, if we like um, this cylindrical face, to be concentric to this face over here. Just select these two faces. Straight away, the assembly document, um, you, know, you see an animation uh, bringing these two parts together. So you see, just move your mouse over here. It is concentric. If you're okay with this, just click on the tick to accept it. Okay. Now let's take a look at what happened when we, have, when we created that concentric mate. Okay, you notice that this part can no longer move in other directions. It is restrained in this direction over here. Okay, so let's um, constrain the model some more. So I just zoom in a little bit. Okay, use the mate command. Okay, I'm going to make this face coincident with this little small face here. So click on here, and there you go. The coincident mate will be selected. Yes, if you are okay with this, hit OK. 
Now, let's try to insert the other tyre and place it onto the right hand side of the wheel. So I go to insert component, go to browse and look for the tyre. So hit open and place the tyre right about there. Okay. Now, if you use your left mouse button to drag the parts around, you are moving the parts around. Sometimes you may need to rotate the part inside uh, this assembly document. So to rotate the, the, the part, what we can do is right click on the part itself and move your mouse and the part will rotate. Okay. Alternatively, you can achieve the same results by using the move component command that you see on the command manager. So to move the part, just click on it and drag the part. If you like to rotate the part, click on the little arrow below and select, select rotate component. Okay. And now you can drag the part around. Okay, so let's create the mids. So if I want to make them concentric, click on the mid icon, select the cylindrical face and the cylindrical face. Okay, they will move in the position. Okay, just move the part around to, to see what, what are the degrees of freedom um, that were restricted. Okay, and to finish off, Okay, we will create a mid between this flat face and this small planar face on the tire. Okay, if you're okay with it, hit OK. There you go. You have created your very first assembly document. So just save this as wheel assembly. Congratulations, you have completed the wheel assembly.